hello student uh, welcome back to isl engineering college so my name is pathan ahmed khan and uh, i am going to take the subject automata language and computation for the csc department computer science engineering and for the fifth sem csc a as well as the b okay so today's topic will be introduction about the automata language and computational okay in this uh, class we are going to see what is uh, your syllabus and what is a credit of your subject okay that we are going to see so this a l c you can say this subject name is a l c <coughs> so your subject code is p c 503 c s okay so now we will move to our class automata language and computational okay this subject code is pc 503 cs and you will get the credit if you pass in this subject you will get the credit 3 okay now we are going to see course outcome what is course outcome okay what is this course outcome this is nothing but why we are learning this and after finishing after completing this course what student can able to do okay and this is very very important subject alc for the computer science engineering because uh, mathematical calculation should be done while using the alc only so uh, this is very very important like c design finite state machine push down automata and turning machine this three is the most important okay this is like a fi fsm finite state machine like what is this machine like finite state machine is if you take the example of atm okay if you can take the example of atm when you go and when you log in like when you insert the card and do whatever you will give you will give the input and it will do some operation okay operation or thinking then we will get the output in output maybe you will get yes or no means you will get the cash or not okay so this is how it is performing how it is working computer so this is very important this subject and this is very scoring subject is also there some of the student will say this is a boring but this is a scoring subject as well and this is most important subject and this is a basic subject for the computer science engineering okay now the second one is determine a language place in cosmic hierarchy regular context free recursively enumeration enumerate uh, enumerable we will see this cosmic cos key this is a structure like this like this like this in what level your thing your item is there how will you identify where is the regular where is the context free context free grammar recursively okay that all we will see where here 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 we will see in the coming classes and you can easily identify if you understand this in the coming classes third one convert among equivalently powerful notation for a language including among dfa and nfa deterministic finite automata and non deterministic finite finite automata and regular expression and between the pd and cfg context free grammar so here 
is a DFA means a determi uh, deterministic finite automata means there will be deterministic you can identify like take the example this 0 comma 1 okay so you can take 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 like this you can do this is a deterministic okay non deterministic means you cannot deterministic i will show you when we start the class with the like uh, with the diagram with the state like this okay so uh, 0 if it is 1 like you can take 1 0 and if it is 1 if it is 0 like this and if it is a final state then the final state will be double circle and initial state will be like this and if you have a medial uh, state that will be only small circle okay so you can able to learn you can after completing this course you can easily identify what is deterministic what is non-deterministic and how to convert from dfa to nfa okay and we will see the difference about this uh, explain why the halting problem has no algorithmic solution okay this is a one problem is there there will be no algorithmic solution okay so in the course outcome of uh, alc you are going to get like you can design the finite state machine push down automata and turning machine like automatically uh, like motor pump automatically it will switch off like automata we are making a machine automate okay now determine a language space with the cosmic algorithm uh, hierarchy as i told you this we will see in which level this will be like type typ type 0 2 0 1 2 3 in which level what is context free grammar regular and what is language we will see all the thing after finishing a course you can easily identify and you can solve the uh, you can give the automata automata to machine okay so go to the syllabus in the syllabus in the first unit we are going the introduction of fsa finite state automata and finite state automata is a non deterministic finite state automata and we will get deterministic finite automata so fa fa is nothing but finite automata with transition regular expression what is regular expression fa with output application of fa if you understand the finite uh, state automata then it will be easy for you for the next unit also and this is a scoring subject and this is unit one is also a scoring unit properties of regular set pumping lemma closure properties mehel's neuron theorem minimization of fa decision algorithm so in the first unit we are going to learn all these things okay finite state what is finite state and in this one thing i want to tell you in this if it is a language you will get the language okay c context free language so language is nothing but not a c programming and logic this is group of string this is group of string language okay so with the help of this we will solve the automata problems okay so in the first unit you will going to know about the fa dfa nfa okay finite automata deterministic automata non deterministic finite automata okay 
So this is a scoring subject again and again I am telling you this is a scoring subject. Now we will go to the next unit 2 like see context free grammar and language. As I told you language is nothing but a string group of group of strings. Okay. Diversion we will see the parse tree what is parse tree and we will see the ambiguity ambiguity in the grammars and language what kind of ambiguity what we are getting in the grammar and language push down automata and we will see the definition of push down automata automata and we will see the language of pda what is pda push down automata equivalent of pda and cfg what is cfg content context free grammar deterministic push down automata this is d deterministic okay so if you learn this second unit and third unit is almost same if you know about the cfg and the languages then this two unit will be easy for you for scoring the subject okay so in the third unit we will see the property of cfl what is cfl context free language what are the properties are there normal form for the cfg what are the normal forms and we will see the pumping lemma we will see the closure properties we will see the decision algorithms there is a different algorithms are there for making the decision which path we need to select in the tree okay now the deterministic context free language dcfl predicting machine how will you predict and decision properties and this is lr lr0 grammar we will see lr0 and uh, dpda what is dpda dp da deterministic push down automata okay and this is lrk grammar is also there fine next so this is second and third unit is interrelated if you understand the second unit then only you can easily identify easily you can understand the properties of cfl this will be easy for you okay second and third unit now we will move to the fourth unit in the fourth unit turning machine this is an important topic is also there turning machine introduction and we will see the computational language and fundamentals functions sorry Con computational language and functions and we will see the technique for the construction of turning machine okay why we are going to the turning machine and what is the turning machine we will see modification of tm tm as a uh, enumerator restricted tm turning machine okay so this is turning machine i will show you the graph uh, diagram which all this five unit covered i will show you after this uh, fifth uh, unit after this undecidable undecidability undecidability so here is nothing but we cannot dis define we cannot decide okay like example take the example of like uh, take the example of java if you say display 1 to 10 okay it will display the data you will get the result but undecidability is nothing but if you give 1 to infinity we cannot get the data this is like an infinity okay you cannot solve this problem so whatever the problem you cannot solve that will go to here undecidability recursive and recursively enumeration language utm and undecidable problem 
Rice theorem. Post correspondent problem here is a cosmic hierarchy. This is very very important. Definitely question will come from this. Regular grammar. What is a grammar? Unrestricted grammar. What grammar cannot be used? CSL relationship between class of language. Okay. So this all the five unit we are going to deal in this subject. Okay, first unit we are going to see the introduction, finite state automata, non-deterministic, deterministic. deterministic okay. The second context-free grammar we will see, and in the third unit we will see the context-free languages. And the fourth unit we will see the turning machine, and the fifth unit we are we will see undecidability. Okay. So here the diagram I, I was talking to you. So A L N C, automata language and computational, or theory of computational, or automata theory. This all are same. The names are different, but this all are same. So here, if you come here, first one is a finite state machine in the first unit. After that, context-free language or context-free grammar, second and third unit. This will cover in second and third unit, and here in the first unit, and this will be in the fourth unit, and undecidable will be fifth unit. So here, whatever the thing we cannot solve that will go here, turning machine, it will help the work fast. And context-free grammar and context-free language will going to see in the second and third unit. Okay, so this is about uh, you can say like uh, automata language and computational or automata theory or theory of computation. This all are same. Okay, fine. So now the last thing is suggestion reading book. As per the syllabus, John E. Hofcroft. Jeffrey D. Ullman, Introduction to Automata Theory, Language and Computational. This is this book you will get in the college library if you want. And Ziv Kohavi, Switching and Finite Automata Theory, T M H, nineteen seventy six. So this is the bo books are available and. <coughs> for the suggestion reading as per your syllabus and that is available in the college library isl college library okay so hope uh, you understand this so we will go in the next class we will start the first unit introduction of finite state automata okay thank you thank you very much